time? What is time? Well Google it. There are possibly tens of definitions of this one concept. We all experience time intimately, yet it is the most elusive concept of all. Science, philosophy, religion, and the arts have defined time differently. Physicists define time as the progression of events from the past to the present into the future. From Einstein's theory of relativity, time varies according to the perspective of each individual. Take for example the time when you sat next to a beautiful girl, time flew away without your noticing or the last time you were in a flow state, well flow state is the state of mind when you are so absorbed in a task that you do not seem to notice time passing by, flow itself feels like an eternity, you only remember at 9 pm that you've skipped two meals and all your chores. The human brain is equipped to keep track of time. When the neurons are firing faster we seem to notice more events, so when we are having fun time seems to fly by. In Einstein's theory, well he seemed to imply that the faster you move, the slower time is relative to you. This is referred to as time dilation where time becomes longer for an individual who is moving fast enough. The concept seems to further propose, mathematically though that beyond the speed of light, you can transcend time. But of course let's not kid ourselves, we could never get to move at the speed of light with our massive bodies except with the help of some really complicated devices that we just do not yet have. I would like to present a way to draw some utility out of Einstein's theory of time without studying the physics and mathematics behind it. We can use this theory perhaps to improve on our lives. Let us imagine two hypothetical gents Roy and John, two friends at college. Roy is conscientious and hardworking while John is a rather laid-back careless individual. Roy goes on to seek to improve himself, becomes a lawyer, Roy works hard to earn a fortune, he travels the world, marries the woman of his dreams, he goes on to buy his dream car and lives in a mansion on one of the fanciest neighborhoods in his city. Whereas John equally like Roy graduates but spends much of his time nihilistically cursing life, and questioning why things are not so good without doing anything about it. He kind of lags behind, lives a conveniently boring life and kind of just has enough to live on. Well also tragically enough, they both die at 70. I'm sorry we were just imagining. Now let's examine these scenarios, we realize that one actually is more interesting than the other, not so. Well I think John's was a model one. Why? Well moving fast and gathering trophies, you can literally live life twice and over, time relative to you slows enough for you to achieve and do the things you want to do. You can become a time master literally by how much life you put in time. That's right, by how much life you put in time. While being sluggish can actually hamper you and make time, a thing to despise and curse. In that sense life can become a damnation that never seems to end. When we move faster and gather experiences life is so full of bewilderment and memories that makes life so full of substance. Well I don't mean to impart any of my personal values on you. But I think, how you answer the following questions will help to inspire an ideological transformation of something inside of you. How do you spend your time? How much time do you waste every single day? How would you like to spend your time going into the future?